Ross, I know you've got all sorts of stats on your mind, um, but on Andrew Clennell's point around a budget surplus, one is the fact that unemployment isn't heading, we don't think, any time soon to that figure of 4.25%. We might be wrong, but it's not tracking that way. And the other thing is commodity prices. We don't have an exact number for what they're saying the price will be on January or in March or whatever, the one that will affect this year. But bringing up terms of trade, this has long been the case in these budgets. So have a look at this from that 21, 22, the supposed path we take. They always just say terms of trade. In other words, what we get, things we sell versus things we buy and commodities are so crucial in that will fall off a cliff. And so far, over many years, they haven't. And this is why we think in the short term, the surplus is coming. Yeah, surplus is coming. There's no doubt, Simon. I mean, it's the equivalent of, say, they make around $450 million in revenue or billion dollars in revenue per year, um, and they're forecasting a deficit of $1.1 billion. This is the equivalent of a person earning $450,000 saying they can't save $1,000 a year. Of course they can. And so that's the issue. But it really comes down to consumption. So the first chart I want to show you, as I run you through a few charts, is about consumption. Consumption is all about 55% of Australia's economy. But have a look at what happens here as people become worried about their jobs and really the budget here is forecasting this is going to fall people are cutting back not just on discretionary items but also on essential items as well so this comes back to where employment sits and so if we go through the employment chart that's come out here through my EFO, what you can see here is the forecast is really that you're going to see you know sort of eventually a higher rate of unemployment now it's going to rise over a period of time but the second part about that is really that you've also got it higher now than where the Reserve Bank is. So I did rough calculations. This ignores immigration, ignores everything. The, the unemployment rate currently 3.7%. In June 2024, they're forecasting it will be 4.25%. That's the equivalent of 81,000 people out of a job, right, as compared with now. But it goes on more than 120,000 people as compared with now out of a job a year later. That affects uh, the, the, the way in which you know, people consume and their confidence to consume. There's the Reserve mm. Bank forecast on inflation. Here's the unemployment rate, as I said, 120-odd thousand people out of work compared with today by yeah. June 2025. And I'll say that's an absolute key in regards to the confidence that people have in terms of consumption and therefore the economic growth this government's got in front of it.